Sarah, Julius, <laughs> an amazing routine. <laughs> Hi Bruin fans and welcome back to episode 7 of Bruin Banter. This is one of our last episodes and we're close to the end of season but we still came back from a really busy weekend which was really exciting with a long travel day to West Virginia where we competed two days in a row for regionals which is the first round of NCAA nationals. The first day you guys' Bruin scored a 197.05 and the second day we scored a 197.25 and we unfortunately could not qualify for nationals, but we're still happy that we couldn't end our season with our season high. It definitely was emotional for everyone because we were hoping for a better outcome. I also believe it was extremely emotional for the seniors in general and also for our special guest over here, Savannah Coleman. So happy to introduce her. I'm so excited to be here. I'm so excited for so many reasons. It's her first time on Bruin Banter, her senior. She's my fellow senior. She's one of my bestie. And she's been my roomie for four years. And that's why we don't have to wear masks. And we can be here because we're already so close together every day. <laughs> so, yay! Yay! Celebration! Yes. So regionals, this was a long trip and it's always a little bit different compared to the other meets mm -hmm. because it's more intense. What is it, what makes it different and how do you go about it? So regionals is different because we compete two days back to back and throughout the season we never do that. We have to really take our recovery seriously and re-mentally prepare for another day of competition. So it was a lot but also it's really fun. Yeah, and I think this year was even more intense because of COVID. We were really close in a bubble. We were not allowed to see our parents just to make sure that we were really safe. And it was all about gymnastics and getting prepared to perform our best. But let's talk a little bit more about those two days and let's get into the meet recap. The first day we started on bars with a great routine for Mars as the anchor spot scoring in 995. And then we moved over to Beam, our second event, where we did have some hiccups in the beginning with two falls. But then in the end, Nora came back with a 9875. And then Nikki ending the beam rotation with a strong 9.875. Then moving over to Floor and Sekai started us off and Emma was in the second place and both of them absolutely killed it with both scoring a season high, Sekai in 9.875 and Emma scoring a 9.9. And then moving to our last event, which was awesome with four sticks and Nia and Shay in the two last spots scoring a 9.925 and ending the meet really strong for the Bruins. So after the first day and after all four events, we placed second, which then brought us to the second day where we got the chance to compete again. And based off the result of the first day, we were placed on floor and that's where we started our meet. We started with our dance party and we had great routines from Mars and Shay scoring a 9.9 and then Nia in the anchor spot with her viral routine scoring a 9.925. And P, you also killed your routine. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm happy about that routine, <laughs> luckily. And then we went over to vault. Again, Nia and Shay closing it up on vault with two 9.925s, which is awesome. And I just want to give a shout out to the whole vault squad because we really had to step in this year and we did not have a lot of people to switch out with injuries and just resting people. So this was really huge of all of us going every single meet and just hitting our best balls for the team. And then we moved over to bars. Really, really proud of our freshman, Sarah Julius, which had a beautiful routine hitting all her handstands. And hitting her handstand is like showing off her handstands two seconds or even longer. And then she even stuck her dismount. So really, really proud of Sarah, shout out. And Mars again, scoring a 9.95 as the anchor spot. And then our last event, Beam. We were really happy to see amazing routines from Shay and Nora scoring a 9-9. We definitely were bummed and sad that we could not qualify for nationals and this is how we ended our season. But we keep our heads up and we're also really, really proud of in our individual competitors who qualified for nationals and are gonna represent the Bruins next weekend in Texas. Yeah. Mars qualifying for bars and Nia for vault and Seeing Shay as a freshman competing for the all-around title is really, really exciting. And don't forget to follow them and we're all going to cheer them on. Mm -hmm. As we 
sad. I think we all kind of felt it. We definitely were sad and almost kind of disappointed. How did you go about it being a senior, this being your last performance and ending your career on that? Going into the meet, I didn't have it in my head that that was going to be my last performance ever because um, obviously our intentions were to make it to nationals. So that was my goal and to do my best routine that I could do. Obviously, I wanted to do a better routine than I ended up doing for my last performance ever. I realized that I can't base my whole career off of my last performance and I have to be proud of what I did over my whole career. So that was a little bit of a challenge after the meet, but at the same time, I'm proud of myself for my whole career. Yeah, and I guess that's really true. That's really true for the whole team. It was really hard in the moment because we did not expect to end this way. Mm -hmm. But I think we have to see, especially this year as a whole learning year and ending the season with a season high was big, but definitely hard to move on. But you mentioned like you're proud of your whole career, which I totally agree. But I also do know beginning of your college career, it was a little bit challenging because you had this difficult spot. I remember Lily warming up every single meet on bars, not knowing if you're in or not. How did you go about it and how were you like overcoming this? I think it was really hard for me to not be making lineups because obviously we all want to compete and that's really fun. Um, but I had to remind myself that I came here to be a part of a team And so my job was just to be as ready as I could be, work really hard in the gym and train to where I could be an option if they needed me. Yeah, and it obviously worked out and we could see like from freshman year, you've consistently worked so hard in the gym and it clearly paid off. And it's really amazing to see you being so consistent on bars and like being able to count on you. It's really cool to see. What would you say in those four years How did you, not necessarily change, but grow as a person, as a leader inside the gym, but also outside the gym? Over the past four years, I've definitely gotten more confident in myself in all aspects as a gymnast, outside the gym, finding my passions and what I like to do. I found a passion for nutrition and now I know that I want to be a sports dietitian. So I think that just helped me be confident in um, a direction and finding um, my path in life, I guess, and my next steps. Especially the past two years, I've seen you being more interested in that and really like, developing your passion. Also, in general, what you mentioned earlier, becoming more confident. That's something I really admire Like over the years, seeing you how you step up more for yourself and you know what you want to do for yourself. And you've definitely developed having a stronger voice within the team, but also outside. And that's really cool to see. And now I have to talk a little bit about it because we've been roommates for four years, so we need to have some little roomy talk. And we're honest here, so yeah. I'm gonna ask you now, <laughs> what did you think when you first heard like you're gonna room with me and then like <laughs> she's gonna room with a German girl? Like I really wanna know what your first thoughts are. I didn't think like German girl. <laughs> um, when I first met you, I thought you were very like intense and direct. But then after getting to know you better, I realized like your fun side and goofy side. And then we started to hang out more and then we became best friends. <laughs> and I think we were not too comfortable in the beginning because yeah. obviously we did not know each other and yeah. we do come from different cultures. So this was really interesting. <laughs> yeah. But I think over the years, like we became definitely more comfortable around oh, yeah. each other. Like honestly, already the couple months in freshman year, mm -hmm. that's when it clicked. And since yeah. then we knew, okay, I don't want to live with anyone else anymore. Yeah. Just savvy. <laughs> Just people. Yeah. I know that I tend to talk a lot sleeping. <laughs> do you ever get annoyed with me talking or do you hear me talking? Yeah, I hear you talking, but I don't get annoyed with it. I usually try to listen. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is she speaking English or German this time? Am I speaking both? Yeah. Probably just me giving you some German lessons. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> so now after four years living together and having a really close friendship, like I know we will be 
friends for life. But, I mean, you mentioned you know what you want to do, you want to go into nutrition. Like, what inspired you to and become a nutritionist or dietitian? I have always been really interested in food. Like, when I was little, I would always read food labels for some reason. I feel like gymnasts in general struggle with body image and because we are competing in Leos, it's just kind of the gymnastics culture, I guess, that is hopefully going to change. Growing up as a young gymnast, I did struggle with food and how I should fuel myself and what I should eat and also wanting to look a certain way to fit the gymnast body type. And so I just started researching and I got really interested in it. And I reached out to our sports dietitian at UCLA and I asked if she had an internship availability and she said she did. So I started interning with her and I just really enjoy it. First of all, from sophomore first time living in an apartment, you cooking eggs every day to now <laughs> like having four meals and becoming a chef, not only the sous chef anymore. <laughs> I know. She's actually the chef, really. But it's like definitely fun like seeing you, knowing what you do with your nutrition and helping me and your other teammates to do the right thing to fuel our body well and to be healthy. So that was really helpful, especially this year with you gaining more knowledge. And I'm really confident you're going to be a great dietitian. Aw, thanks, P. Okay. <laughs> now, nearing the end of Bruin Banter with Savvy, we come to our Twitter questions. Yay. Okay, first one, Meg asked, what advice do you have for the freshman class that you would have wanted to hear four years ago? Also, favorite moment from this experience? I'd say just to really enjoy every moment because it does go by super fast. I know everyone says that, but it really does not feel long ago that I was a freshman. Also, just really enjoy the team bond that you have in making those relationships and meeting new people who aren't athletes and connecting with them. I feel like that's something that's um, really cool. Yeah, especially having so many people around UCLA yeah. that are so unique and so diverse. Like really mm -hmm. take advantage of that because they're cool people walking around campus. Yes. Okay, <laughs> and then overall favorite experience. Oh my gosh. I do have to say that freshman year, when we won the national championship. That was just a really special moment. And just being so excited for the team and so proud of the team in that moment, it was just so special and I just felt so proud. And to this day, I think I'll always remember that feeling that I had. Yeah, honestly, this was a feeling I don't know if I'll ever feel again. So many emotions coming together and I literally almost passed out but this yeah. was just like I agree like everything just coming together doing it out of team love and the second question says hi Savvy congrats on an amazing career how was competing your senior year without or super low amount of people fans and the den in the stands hope you still enjoyed the season I did still enjoy the season but it was very different the energy was a lot different especially in Pauly we're so used to like so much energy in yeah. there and I think it was hard to bring up the energy constantly and try to make it that super high energy feeling without fans. But I do think we did our best and we did a really good job at it. Yeah. It was still fun, but it was definitely a different experience yeah. than I, the past years. Yeah, for sure. I think like in the beginning it felt even more weird because we have never experienced poly like this mm -hmm. and then we kind of got used to it. And I was just talking about it the other day I could not picture Polly without audience, and now I can't picture it with audience. With audience? Like, that's so weird, but yeah. next year, you guys will be back. <laughs> <laughs> and now, finishing up the episode with my favorite part, as I always say, the German sentence. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna start. Ich werde deine kleine Fee sein und dich immer begleiten. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. Ich werde. Ich werde. Deine. Deine. Kleine. Kleine. Oh, Fee. Fee. Sein. Sein. Und. Und. Dich. Dich. Immer. Immer. Begleiten. Begleiten. Wow, this was way, way better than when she tried it yeah. the first time. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You just said that I'm gonna be a little fairy and I always be with you. 
Thank you so much for being on the show. I'm really happy that I got to be your first Bruin Band to host. Me too. And don't forget to check out more information right here for nationals in Texas this upcoming weekend and support our Bruins that are competing for the individual titles on vault, bars, and in the all-around. Bye, Bruin fans! Bye. Love you all! Bye.